dusting itself off after a corruption scandal that rocked the foundations of the European Parliament. On Wednesday, it will elect a new vice president. The title was previously held by Greek MEP Eva Kaili, who in December was detained on charges of corruption and money laundering. Also arrested was her partner Francesco Giorgi, a parliamentary assistant, and Italian ex-MEP Pier Antonio Panzeri, also the president of the NGO Fight Impunity, who's now collaborating with the authorities. During a raid conducted on several homes and offices, Belgian authorities reportedly found bags of cash at Kaili's residence. A total of €600,000 was recovered. The money is alleged to be from Qatar as a bribe to influence policy in the European Parliament, something that the Gulf state vehemently denies. But Kaili in the past has fiercely defended Qatar. I alone said that Qatar is a front-runner in labour rights, abolishing kafala and reducing minimum wage, despite the challenges that even European companies are denying to enforce these laws. They are a new generation of intelligent, high-educated people. The probe into the scandal has grown in recent weeks. And on Monday, the European Parliament began a month-long procedure to waive the immunity of Italian lawmaker Andrea Cozzolino and Belgian Mark Tarabella. The two are wanted for questioning by Belgian authorities. Disentangling the web of scandal will take time, and the Parliament's president is doing her best to maintain the organization's reputation. This European Parliament prides itself on its openness, its accessibility, and its defense of legislating in the public eye. We are not in some imaginary ivory tower. We will strengthen our systems, address any shortcomings, and be honest and open throughout this process. And we will do all of this while protecting the freedom of our mandate as elected representatives. Last Thursday, she met the heads of the parliament's nine political groups to discuss a reforms package geared towards more transparency.